VT361 camera. This is going to be a security camera and it allows you to use your smartphone to view your house remotely. So you can see it is a 720p camera. It pans and up and down, left to right. It has motion detection, digital zoom, two-way voice, and a mechanical ICR. All right, the first thing in the box is the simple steps for setting up your camera. So let's put that off to the side. You get your manual, your warranty and disclaimer, your power brick, an ethernet cord, an antenna for the Wi-Fi, some screws if you're gonna mount this up. Here's the camera itself. You can see on the back we have a place to power it up, an ethernet port, an alarm, micro SD, cable antenna, audio in and out, and a function button for the wireless. Other than that, that is all the buttons on here. And the only other thing left in the box is this mounting bracket. All right, so let's look at this. Okay, so it says plug in the camera to any power outlet and the ethernet cable to your router. Please wait 50 seconds for the camera to power on and rotate it to do its self-testing. Download from the App Store on your smartphone or tablet the app called MIPC. So let me download MIPC first on my smartphone. Now while that's installing, what I'll do now is I will plug the camera into the Ethernet port of my router and into the power outlet. I screwed on the antenna on the back right here. I also got this SanDisk 32 gigabyte micro SD card to put in the back of the camera so I can save videos and pictures right to the device itself. So let me put that in. It just goes in the back right there where it says micro SD. And now what I'll do now is I'm going to plug the ethernet cable into my router and the power into the wall. Okay, so I have the ethernet plugged into the router with the camera and now I'm going to plug the power cord into the wall. And it says to wait 50 seconds. This should start moving. Now it's telling me to uh, open that app and create a password. So I did that. Now it's telling me to hit that plus sign in the top left hand corner. I'll take this code right here. All right, and it got the code right there. So, oh, it's asking for the input password. Right, so after you enter the password that's on the bottom of the camera, you gotta make up a new one. And now it's asking me to, it's asking me to set up the uh, Wi-Fi. So I'll choose my Wi-Fi and set that up now. After everything's all set up, this is a live feed. So you can see it is swipe to the left or the right, and you can look in real time. I'll push it up, see if it goes up. So it's pointing down when you press up. Let me go. So that's fairly cool. Some other cool things you can do with the camera are, as you can hear, I'm talking through it and it's picking up my voice. So that's one thing you can do. So you can do some other cool things as well with this. If you press the uh, speaker right up here, you can hear people talking in the room. You can also talk to the person uh, in the room from your device. So I'll press that microphone on and then it says press to speak. Hey, dude. And you don't know if you guys could hear that, but da 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 da. So it picks up all that kind of cool stuff. You can take a picture, and you can see it just took a picture of the action going on. And it saved that to the micro SD card that I plugged in earlier. You can record a video. It's recording a video right now. You can see my arms waving right now. So it's going to do that. You just press it again to stop it. And then you also got your settings in here to record. You can do it in auto, day or night. I'll set it to auto. You can also switch the resolutions down here. 160 by 90, 320 by 180, 640 by 360, and up to 720p, which is 1280 by 720. This is a review of the Vimtag model VT361 video camera. As you can see here, this is what the kit comes with. You get an instruction manual, a quick startup guide, mounting hardware, ethernet cable, and then a power cord. And so 
setup is very simple. You just follow the instructions on the quick setup guide. And so basically what you do is you just install the antenna right here on the back. Screw that in. You plug in the ethernet cable in the back here. And you plug the other end into your router. And then power the device up. And what you do is you wait 50 seconds, the device will power up, it will rotate, it will do a self-check. And what you need to also do, if you're going to start it up from your smartphone or your computer, you download an app. For your smartphone, you download an app called MIPC and follow the instructions to sign up with that app. And what you're going to need to have to set it up is this code on the back here. It gives you your um, device ID and the password you use for your initial setup. Very, very simple to set up. Just like I said, you follow the instructions on the quick setup guide. And once that's done, the camera's ready to go and it provides high definition video and a bunch of other functions. You, you can put, there's a slot back here for a micro SD card so you can record videos. Um, some of the great functions that I found are with your smartphone, you can control the direction of the camera, you can zoom in or out, you can actually use a speaker function so you can speak to whoever's in the room if you're watching your child, your children, um, any um, pets. There's also pictures. You can use your smartphone to snap a picture. You can use your smartphone to record a video and many other functions. It's an excellent device and like I said it's super easy to set up.